This is the Youngstown Warren End of Season Air Quality Report for April through October 2017, brought to you by the Eastgate Regional Council of Governments. Overall, air quality conditions were cleaner in Youngstown Warren during the 2017 summer season than in 2015 and 2016. Air quality index, or AQI levels, were good on most days, with only one day reaching unhealthy for sensitive groups, or USG, compared to five USG days last year and three the year before. Ozone levels in the Youngstown Warren region are typically higher during summer months because more sunlight and warm temperatures increase ozone formation. On average, temperatures in the Mahoning Valley were two degrees above normal this past summer. Despite warmer than average conditions enhancing ozone formation, PM2.5 was actually the dominant pollutant when AQI levels were moderate or higher, which is an unusual pattern. This was partially due to smoke emitted from many large wildfires during September in the Pacific Northwest. The smoke was transported into northeastern Ohio, increasing particle concentrations on many days. The highest AQI day this past summer was on June 14th, when ozone levels reached 115 AQI. On June 13th, light winds and warm temperatures led to a rapid buildup of ozone in the Cleveland area, resulting in USG ozone levels. On June 14th, mostly cloudy skies limited ozone formation in Youngstown Warren. However, light northwesterly winds transported pollutants from the Cleveland area into Youngstown Warren. In addition, an upper-level ridge of high pressure limited atmospheric mixing, allowing pollutants to build up throughout the day. As a result, ozone levels in Youngstown Warren reached 115 AQI on June 14th. Throughout the 2017 summer season, air quality forecasts captured the general trend of observed air quality levels with a percent correct score of 85% at the good to moderate AQI threshold. During the winter and early spring months, ozone levels are lower due to cooler temperatures and less sunlight. As a result, only PM2.5 forecasts are issued from November through March. For more information on air quality in the Mahoning Valley, please visit mahoningvalleyair.org.